Looking ahead, those of you living here in Myrtle Beach will soon decide who will represent you on City Council. It's a big deal, and our Julia Richardson introduces you to the third of eight candidates you'll see on your ballot come November. Debbie Connor is a professor at Coastal Carolina University. She served on several boards in the Myrtle Beach community for around 30 years. She received the Anne DeBach Leadership Award in 2012 from the Myrtle Beach Area Chamber of Commerce. So community is a big part of her run for city council. My theme of my campaign is better together, right? And so I think that the city, um, we need to work collaboratively with the state, with other municipalities, with our county government, with all the folks involved. Connor says if elected, she wants to take a collaborative approach to homelessness. Myrtle Beach is in a unique position where we have got so many people devoted to um, really working on the problem. Um, and we've just got to make sure that we're all at the table together and that we're all in and that we look at our resources in regards to mental health and drug uh, rehabilitation. As for Connor's platform for affordable housing, she says the housing market dictates home prices, but there also has to be a motivation for developers to lower the cost. Myrtle Beach is in, in a challenging place because of the amount of land that's available for development, right? And so to encourage private development to create affordable housing, there has to be other um, incentives provided through the federal government maybe through the state. Connor says she supports downtown revitalization and the redevelopment projects council is working on, but she says it has to go further than just attracting tourists. I support um, a broad economic base, so bringing in jobs that are, um, you know, not just tourism um, based jobs, I think is important. As for public safety in Myrtle Beach, Connor says she thinks the city is doing a good job, but there is always room for improvement. One of our challenges is, like other cities in the country, recruiting public safety officials, like recruiting police officers, right? And so luckily there's some collaborative efforts with the Chamber of Commerce to do that. But once we get them here, we need to make sure that we're able to keep them. Connor thinks her experience will allow her to bring a unique perspective to city council. I'm an educator. Um, I've been an administrator, um, and so I think I bring kind of a unique marriage of a sense of history and how important that is to our area, but also ideas for how we can develop into the future. In Myrtle Beach, Julia Richardson, WMBF News. And Myrtle Beach voters will cast their ballots Tuesday, November 7th. Now tomorrow we're going to introduce you to our fourth candidate, that is Kenya Hennigan.